welcome to the course real time human detection and counting using tensor flow a novel approach has been proposed to achieve the human detection in photos videos along with real time detection using the system webcam and via the external camera we will gradually learn and build the entire project i will cover everything step by step so that it will be easy for you to build your own machine learning model in this python project we are going to build a human detection and counting system through webcam this is actually an intermediate level deep learning project on computer vision and tensor flow which can assist you to master the concepts of ai and it can make you an expert in the field of data science so for your easy understanding the course has been divided into 14 sections then let us see what we are going to learn in each section in the first section we will learn about artificial intelligence neural networks object detection models computer vision library tensorflow api and its detailed specifications and applications along with appropriate examples in the second section we will learn about human detection model and then we will understand how to install software and tools like anaconda visual studio jupiter and so on next we will learn about the id and the required settings later this will help us to understand how to set up python environments and so on testing small programs separately in a jupiter notebook will give you clarity about the functionality and the working principle of jupiter notebook so in the third section we will learn about setting up jupiter notebook and workspace the fourth section begins with importing dependencies defining and setting paths for labels and real time demonstrations along with source code in the fifth section we will get to know about the computer vision library and how to capture images using open cv we will understand the script step by step and then proceed further with real time demonstration and image labeling tools thereafter we will learn about annotations and its types and finally we will start making annotations in the sixth section we will start with the human detection model then we will learn to customize our own model thereafter we will proceed with pre trained models script records label maps and so on after that we will start working with the workspace next section will teach us about tensor flow model api and protocol buffers here we will proceed with model garden w get module protoc and verification of the source code then we will learn here how to download pre trained models from tensorflow zoo after that in the 8th section we will work with models here we will learn how to create label map how to write files and so on then we will learn about model records like training and test records copying model config into training folder along with real time demonstration in the 9th section we will proceed with pipeline configurations where we will learn about checkpoints next we will go ahead with configuring copying and writing pipeline config and at last we will do the verifications in the 10th section we will understand how to train and evaluate human detection model here we will proceed with training script 
commands for training and verifications. This is the most important section where we will build our human detection model and we will have to be very careful at this stage because training may take a long hours or a day. If your system doesn't have any GPU and have used a higher training steps. After completion of trainings, model evaluation step comes. So here we will understand about model evaluation, mean average precisions, recalls, confusion matrix and so on. 11th section will take you to the trained model and checkpoints. Here we will learn about loading pipeline configs, restoring checkpoints and building a detection model. And then we will understand the source code. In the 12th section, we will get to know how to test human detection model from an image file. Here we will import recommended libraries and then learn about category index, defining test image paths and so on. 13th section will get your hand dirty. You will do real time detections from a webcam and will get to know how the model performs. Finally, in the 14th section, we will understand about freezing graphs, TensorFlow Lite and archive models. This is the last section where we will save our human detection model by using freezing graph method. Then we will learn how to convert human detection model into TensorFlow Lite model. And then we will end this project by archiving our model for future editings.